Something happened the other day when I was strolling in a garden and suddenly my oh my an apple fell down from the tree. Hmm. And I wondered why did the apple fall downwards? Hmm. I wonder if other objects fall downwards too. <laughs> no no no, I'm not going to try it with my own phone. Well, I have a green ball here and let's investigate using this green ball. Okay? Are you ready? Ha, ah, let's see. First, I drop it from the front. <gasps> it fell downwards. Next, I tried dropping it from my right. Yes, it fell downwards too. What about from my left? Yes, it still fell downwards. Next, ah, Try tossing it upwards. Ooh, it still fell downwards. Lastly, I tried throwing it backwards. Yes, it still fell down. I wonder why it still goes downwards. Why oh why? Hmm. Aha! I got it! I got it! I got it! Well, it's because of. Gravity! Yes! What is gravity? Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards the center of the Earth! Oh my god, I'm a genius! Didik TV KPM yeah, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> Hello everyone, you're now watching Level 2 or also known as Tahab Dua on DTV KPM together with me, Sean Steven as your host. Now before we begin, I'd like to remind you to always follow the SOPs in place in our battle against COVID-19 to flatten the curve. Obviously to wash your hands as often as possible using water and soap. Use hand sanitizer to ensure that your hands are also clean and wear your face mask when you are not at home. And for today, as you saw in the video, uh, in the video earlier, there is a very, very interesting topic that we'll be learning today. But first, let's have a look at the teacher's profile. And there you have it together with us today. We have teacher Nina. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sean. How are Hi. you doing today? I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. Yes, and before we continue, could you kindly introduce yourself to our first to our friends who's watching at home right now. Okay, hi, hello everyone. My name is Teacher Nina. I'm a science teacher from Sekolah Kebangsaan Putrajaya Persin 181. All right, and uh, before we continue, obviously I would like to ask you to also follow oh, the okay. SOP or practice the SOP. I have a hand sanitizer or a bottle of hand sanitizer. Again, we always have to ensure we do that whether we're at home or even in public places. Yes. But more importantly, I would like to ask you, um, based on the video that we saw earlier, what's that got to do with our lesson today? Aha, uh -huh. for today we are going to learn three things. Gravity, mm -hmm. rotation and revolution of the Earth. Okay. So in the video in the beginning, yeah. we saw that the meaning of gravity. What is gravity actually? Alright. So Sean, mm -hmm. what is gravity? Hmm, uh, let me try and answer that. So gravity is um, if something, if I were to uh, throw some, not throw something, but let go of something, mm -hmm. uh, it will fall towards the ground. So I would say it's a type of force. Yes, it's that a force. Pulls um, objects uh -huh. towards the ground, or because we're on Earth, so maybe towards the center of the Earth, something yes. like that. Yes, yes, you are right, Sean. Wow! <laughs> Start off the show and Sean already got one star! Yeah, yes! Yeah. One star for me! <laughs> <laughs> yes, what Sean told us just now is absolutely right. Gravity is actually a force that pulls objects towards the centre of the Earth. Okay, yeah. And then, so, why do we need to learn about gravity? Mm -hmm. What is the importance? All right. Or what are the effects of gravity, Sean? What right. do you think? 
Uh, what are the effects? Is a very good question. Maybe you could help me answer that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, yeah. so we have a globe right here. Just yep. imagine we are on Earth right now. Of mm -hmm. course, we are. Mm -hmm. So um, we have some figurines here. Can you okay. help uh, and put the figurines? Uh, okay, you, I can just stick we... them around. Yes. Okay, so I'll uh, just move I'll here. I'll have this Donkey Kong here. Maybe. Right. Okay. okay. Maybe I'll have. Um, um, Mr. Froggy swimming in the North Pacific Ocean. <laughs> okay, and this choo choo train will be somewhere here in the equator in Colombia. Okay, I got a superhero figurine. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll put him at the bottom here at the will, South Pacific will Ocean. Will it fall down? I hope not. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> and then Olaf here. We have Olaf. Uh -huh. Olaf will be down here. At the, the South, South Pole. Hemisphere, South Yay. Pole. And we have one more. <laughs> What's this? Oh, ah. <laughs> we have someone like a penguin, I think. And well, they, well, he has to be here somewhere in the North Pole or close to the Arctic ah, Ocean. Ah, okay. So these are, just imagine these are objects or mm -hmm. beings or even sometimes trees or even buildings yeah. on Earth. So what can you say when you look at all of these objects on Earth? Mm -hmm. Do they fall down, down as in downwards, um, or do they remain in their positions? It looks like they are just remaining at their own position. Yes, yes, huh. they are. Okay, so that is actually the effect okay. of gravity. Ah, uh, because of gravity, mm -hmm. we will not like. Uh, this choo-choo train will not like oh fall down. Oh, no. no, or even Olaf, it will still be there, okay. even though this Earth mm -hmm. is like this mm -hmm. and it's actually down here, but it does not fall no. away from the Earth. Okay, and they do not float in the air; it will ah. stay grounded. That are the uh, those are the effects of gravity. Okay, can you repeat that again, Sean? Okay, what so are the effects of Gravity or gravitational pull on Earth. Okay, so one of the effects is that objects or people on Earth will remain mm -hmm. on Earth. And the second, they would not fly out into the air. Yay, that is absolutely right. Yay. I'm going to give you three stars. Three stars. <laughs> and for my friends at home who have also answered the same, hopefully, well, uh, hopefully answer the same, and you also get three stars. Wow. <laughs> That's really, really something very interesting that we're going to learn today. Mm -hmm. But don't go anywhere because after this, well, we'll be learning about rotation and revolution. Hmm, what is that exactly? Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be back to you for Level 2 on Dina TV KPM. TV KPM Did you know Earth gravitational pull is actually weaker than the pull of a fridge magnet It ranges between 25,000 and 65,000 nano tesla Hmm Oh hi there you are now watching Level 2 or Tahap the World on the TV KPM together me, Sean Steven, as well as Teacher Nina. Now, earlier at the beginning of our lesson, uh, Teacher Nina showed a video of her dropping an item to the ground, you know? But maybe I don't really believe that because it has something to do with gravitational pull. So what I'm going to do is I have this lovely keychain that Miss Nina gave to me, which I want to try and, and try the experiment for myself. So I'm going to start off here. I'm just going to mm -hmm. drop it to the ground. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. It actually fell down. All right. You know what? Maybe I'm going to try it over here. Hmm. Maybe here? Okay. See what happens. It still falls down. Yeah. How about I toss it to the air? Ah. Ah. It still what falls do you know? down. Hmm. So it looks like what teacher Nina said was actually <laughs> correct. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. What? Uh, John did just now proves that mm -hmm. gravity is a force that pulls objects to the center of the earth. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's continue our lesson. Okay. Next, we are going to learn about 
Earth's rotation. Oh, okay. Ah, what is rotation? Rotation is like spin. Mm -hmm. Ah, the Earth behaves in that way. Okay. Okay. So for Earth's rotation, there are three things that we need to know. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, the first one would be that the Earth rotates on its axis. What is axis? Do you know, Sean? What is axis? Can you hold uh, the globe here? I'll okay. just go slightly oh, yes. to the back okay. here. Yeah. Okay. So here, I just lift it up. Okay. So, so what the, is axis? Can you tell axis, everyone? Uh -huh. I think is this kind of well for this object as a pole that goes through from the top uh -huh. to the bottom, and I think that is the axis. Yep. The axis is actually an imaginary line. It doesn't ah. really exist. Okay. Uh, the that axis means, does not exist. <laughs> yeah. That okay. means if you can go. Uh, outside from the earth, mm -hmm. you will not see that stick. Ah, okay. But what we are saying is that how the earth rotates is on the axis. Right. It will not rotate like this, mm -hmm. or it will not rotate like uh, however it will wobble, but mm -hmm. it will rotate on its axis. And okay. this axis is not straight, it's tilted a bit. Oh, yes, it's something ah. I noticed. So if it's straight, it should be like this, yes. but it's tilted to a certain yes, degree. It's tilted tilted a bit. Okay. So that is the first imaginary line that we learned today. Mm -hmm. So the second thing about, okay, you can put it on, okay, yes. The second turn, uh, thing we learned about rotation mm -hmm. is the direction of okay. the rotation. Yep. Uh, the Earth actually rotates from west to east. Okay, all right. So uh, that means west is over on this side, east is over yeah, on this side? If north is on this side, mm -hmm. uh, so west would be uh, this side. This is west. Okay. And this is ah, yes. East. This is west. Ah, yeah, okay. okay. All right. yes. <laughs> so mm -hmm. the Earth rotates from west to east. Okay. Ah, All right. Okay. All right. All right. And the third one is the duration. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for the Earth to make one rotation? That means, let's see. Let's say we start from here. Okay. okay. Let's see from, from let's here. Let's Superman and Malaysia. And one. Okay. Oh, cannot. <laughs> not pass through that. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see. It it makes one. Uh, rotation and come back to the same place here. Okay. It will take 24 hours or one day. Ah. So one rotation is actually one whole day. I see. Ah, okay. 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 So those are the things that you need to remember about rotation. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to revolution. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So what is revolution? Mm -hmm. Revolution is actually another movement mm -hmm. made by the Earth. That means the Earth moves. Two, th two movements at the same time. Oh, it okay. rotates uh -huh. and at the same time it revolves around the sun. Wow, okay. It revolves around the sun. Okay, Sean, can you please be a sport and yes. be the model for everyone to see? You want me to be a model? <laughs> or you mean to, to do the spinning? Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's say uh, Sean is the earth oh, and no, we have okay. um, the sun right here. Okay. All right. So how would you rotate? From okay. west to east. From west to its east. Uh -huh. So I'll be rotating this in this direction. So yes. the axis, I'll just imagine it's, it's in the center of my body, the yeah. imaginary line. Uh -huh. And I'm spinning on that axis. Okay. So like this. Yeah. This is me. Yeah. I'm the earth. So that is one, okay, two, two rotations. Okay. okay. Now at the same time, the earth will revolve around the sun. That oh. means it will go around the sun. Okay. So do you think you can do that? Of course Rotate I can. Rotate at the same time, mm. revolve. Okay, okay, I'll move a bit here. Okay, okay so Sean. I'm rotating on my axis. Ah, and I am yes. spinning. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am revolving around the sun. Yes. Ah. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Ah, I that think is... I, I, I feel like the real Earth right now. I can see stars. <laughs> you can see stars. <laughs> okay. What okay. Sean did just now is simulating how the Earth moves. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Not an easy task. <laughs> exactly. So that is rotation at the same time revolution. Mm -hmm. So revolution actually, um, the Earth moves anti-clockwise. I see. Anti-clockwise means if the uh, the clock goes uh, this way from one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, anti-clockwise is the other way around. Ah. Uh, so he moves from west to east in rotation and mm -hmm. revolve anti-clockwise. Wow. Ah. And the duration mm -hmm. for for Sean to get from that 
position and make one revol revolution and come back to the same place, it takes 365 years and one quarter. Hey, sorry, days. Uh, 365 <laughs> days yeah, and a quarter. Yeah, 365 and a quarter days. I see. Okay. Uh, what does that one quarter mean? Huh. Okay. All right. Okay, let's say Sean starts like this. Mm -hmm. This earth is facing this way. Yep. And when he makes one revolution, when he comes back to here, mm -hmm. add one more, uh, a quarter A movement. quarter movement, yes. so like yes. here. Yes, This okay. is one year. And let's say he moves one more round. Okay. The second year, one more quarter, move a bit. This is second year. Mm -hmm. Third year, and then fourth year. Ah, so you see, on the fourth year, there will be one extra day. So that is why we have leap year, if you have heard of that. Oh, ah. because four quarters is equivalent to one. one. So that's, that's why we, we have 29 February. I see. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So an additional day in one of the months in a year, which is on February the yes. 29th. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. So here I have something here, Sean. Okay. Uh, maybe you can. Shall uh, I hold it? Oh uh, yes, you can. Okay. All right. This is a model mm -hmm. of the sun and also the earth, and okay. we have the moon here too. So this is um, um, this model is showing how the earth actually look at the earth. Okay. So it will rotate, and at the same time, it will revolve around the sun. Sure. Okay. So see. Ah, wow! And, and later you'll learn about the moon. Okay, that's just a teaser about the moon. So see? I can see it spinning ah. around. Oh, sorry. Uh, rotating, rotating and revolving yeah. around the sun. And see how fast it goes. Ah, okay, so it will make one year to make a complete revolution. Okay, so Ooh. one year. Ah, so this is 365 one quarter days. Okay. All right, Sean, can we go back here? Sure. I have something for you. Ooh, okay. Ah, okay. This is actually an activity that we can do. It's a quick one, Sean. All right. All right. See, we have a model of the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I have and here. And the earth. Okay. Okay. And also something to connect them. This is imaginary. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So what we do is we just uh, take one stick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Poke it into the. So this can be like a satay stick. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Yep. Yep. And then poke it on the sun. All right. Okay. Through the sun. Like that. Ah, okay. All and right. And we do the same for the earth. For the earth as well. Yep. So first through the imaginary line. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. So mine is a bit blunt. Ah. Let me just push that through. Oh. Oh. Yes, got yeah. it through. Yep. And we got the earth. Okay, push Going it through. Oh. Oops. Sorry about that. So this time double-sided tape is not uh -huh. my friend. <laughs> okay, so here. Okay. So I have the sun and the earth. All right, so what we do is we spin the earth. Okay. Ah, uh, and at the same time we re make it make a revolution. It revolves around the sun. So make sure it is anti-clockwise. So is this anti-clockwise? Yes. <sighs> okay. Ah. So it spins. Oh. Wait, my earth is a <laughs> bit Okay, so it spins. It rotates on its own axis uh -huh. and it revolves around, around the, the sun, sun in an anti-clockwise manner. Yes. Oh my, Sean, I yes. forgot something. Yes. About orbit. Orbit. Have you heard of the word orbit? Uh, I've heard of it. Okay, what is orbit? Uh, this is uh, concerning revolution. Mm -hmm. The Earth actually uh, revolves around the sun in an orbit. Orbit ah. is like a path or okay. a lane. Okay. Imagine if you're a runner, a 400 meters runner in yes. a stadium on, mm -hmm. on the track. Okay. You must stay on your lane, right? So that yeah. is like the orbit. Okay. And the orbit is also imaginary. Oh. If you go up in the uni in the sky or in the universe, you yep. will not see that that line. Okay. Okay. But it is there just to show that that is how the Earth will revolve. Okay. It will not go off the course. I it see. It will stay there since the beginning of time mm -hmm. until the end of time. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Maybe I can just do an example okay. of it. So I'll just go back again. All right. And I'll become the Earth. And I'll just repeat what you have just said, uh -huh. right? So first, this is the axis. 
I rotate. Yes, on rotate. On my axis. Um, rest to, uh, re rest to east. east uh, rest to east. Uh -huh. So like this. And then. And now and I'll be revolving around the sun. Uh -huh. Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Which is this way, actually. Oh. Uh -huh, okay, okay. okay. We're, we're mistaken. Yes, yeah? okay. Um, uh, but following an orbit. Yes. So imagine I have like a, 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 a kind of orbit that I can't see, but I'm following it. Mm -mm. So here, this is the orbit that I'm following around the sun. Yes. So is this correct, Miss Nina? Yes, that is correct. All right. Because what happens if you go off course, if, if we don't have this orbit, yeah. you might collide with other planets. Oh no, but because you we have want that to happen, seven other right? planets yeah, around, the, yes, around the sun, exactly. right? But today we're just focusing on Earth. The Earth, yes. And so far what we have, uh, what we have learned is in terms of the Earth's rotation on its axis, as well as its revolution around the sun, following its orbit. Yeah. Very, very interesting indeed. You can also try this at home for those of you who are watching, but uh, warning, you get, you might get a bit dizzy. And that's <laughs> why we're going to take a short break and be back to you for Level 2 on Dede TV KPM. Dede TV KPM Did you know the Earth rotates at a speed of 1,674 km per hour? That is almost four times faster than the fastest car in the world. And we are back for level two of how the world on the TV KPM together with teaching Nina as well as myself, Sean Steven, for the topic today where we're learning on the Earth's gravity, rotation, and revolution. Let's continue. Okay, so just now we have learned about Earth Earth's rotation. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to look at what are the three effects of Earth's rotation. All right. Ah, for the first effect, I need us to be. A little bit darker here, please. Oh, could we have the lights dim in the studio, <laughs> please? Oh. Ah, okay. So, what you have right there in front mm -hmm. of you is the globe which yes. represents the Earth. Okay. So, we have that Superman over there. Mm -hmm. uh, Superman is actually standing on Malaysia. Okay. And I am going to turn on the light. The ah. light represents the sun. Okay. Okay. So, um, can you please rotate? Uh, the Earth from west to east, Sean. West to east. So let me just start off here okay. since Superman is uh, standing on, on Earth. So okay. I'm going to rotate, right? So All west right. to east. Yes. It's moving now. Okay. okay. So what... Okay, stop for a sec. Yeah. So what we are actually looking at is the part of the Earth which receives the light from okay. the sun is experiencing... Daylight. Day. Okay. Yeah, so that is the first effect. So over on this side here. Ah, okay. So this is uh, the day part and the where the earth does not face the sun mm -hmm. is actually having night time. Night. Okay. Ah, okay. So because the earth is rotating uh, from uh, west to east, All right. uh, we will go to the second effect. Okay. okay. So can you rotate a little bit more? All right. Ah, rotate. Okay. So now we see that if we are here, mm -hmm. let's imagine that everyone is Superman. So you can see that the Earth, uh, sorry, the Sun, seems as if it rises from the east. Ah, because okay. Earth rotates from west to east. Okay. And then we, as we move, mm -hmm. and we will see that the Sun, ah, the Sun will set on the west. Okay. Ah, okay. So actually, I have a video. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. So we have a video. Let's have a look at that video.
that's uh -huh. a very interesting video indeed. But what's that about? Ah, it shows that the sun appears or seems to be in different positions throughout the day. Okay. Uh, in the morning, we can see the sun on the east, mm -hmm. and then at noon, it'll be on the north, mm -hmm. and then when it sets in the evening, it'll be on our west. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that's the second effect of Earth's rotation. Now we move on to the third effect. Okay. I saw something on your shoulder, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's actually Superman that's on my left shoulder. <laughs> okay. So uh, we need to stick um, Superman here, right okay. here in the, in the middle. Okay. This is actually an investigation. Ooh. Ah, that it, it is shown actually in the video just now, where we can see the changes in length and also position of the shadow of objects on Earth. Okay, ah, all right. Okay, so what we are going to do is mm -hmm. we are going to make this Superman as a representation of objects on Earth. Okay. Okay, so uh, we will start the investigation now, all shall right, we? shall we? All right, so, okay, can Let's we see? Try. Ah, yes, okay, we can we see. Okay, we can see the shadow okay. here. So, for example, we start with in the morning. Okay, Sean, I need you to be on the board right there okay. because you need to fill in the observation sure. table. I'll head over there. Okay, thank Excuse you so much, me. Sean. Excuse me, pardon. Okay. okay, so kids, what we are doing right now is we are going to simulate at first at 8 a.m. 8 in the morning. So, let's see the sun appears to rise from the east. Okay, let's see. Okay, aha, uh -huh. yes. Can you see the shadow there? Yes, I can. So this is the um, sun, Okay. the position. Where is the sun? Is uh, it east, west, north, south? Uh, this should be on the east. Yes, yes. east. Okay, so right down there, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. The direction of the sun is on the east. Okay, okay. So that's right, east here. Yep. E-A-S-T. Is that correct? Okay. <laughs> All, All right. right. So where is the direction of the shadow? So it's pointing towards the west? Yes, you are right. Okay, west. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So now I am going to... Ah, I'm going to measure the length of the shadow at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's about, okay, right there, 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters, yes. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay, got it. Now, we move on to the second one. It's 10.30 a.m. All right. Okay, so for 10.30 a.m., the sun will be a little bit higher up. But ah. it is still in the... It's still in the east? East, yes. Very good. Ah. East. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, where is the shadow? Where is the shadow? The I think my friends who are also watching right now can somehow guess if the direction of the sun is in the east, where is the direction of the shadow? What do you think? Aha! Uh -huh. That's right. It is on the west. West. Or oh, facing yeah. the west. Yes. Okay, now I am going to measure the length of the shadow. Mm -hmm. <gasps> now it, it is only uh, mm, mm, six. Six, six centimeters. centimeters. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Six centimeters. Just now, it was 10 centimeters. Yeah. Huh. All right. Now, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. would be in Peninsula Malaysia. It would be right on top. Oh. Ah, okay. So, the sun is right above our head. Mm -hmm. So, where is this position of the sun? The position of the sun is above would mean, what do you think? Huh. huh. Ah. It's on, uh, I think it's on the, uh, at the north. Yes, you are right, north. North, okay. N-O-R-T-H. H, yes, very good. Okay, what about the uh, direction of the shadow? Direction of the shadow? Uh -huh. If it's right above us. So the shadow is? Shadow is just below us, so uh -huh. south? Yes, oh. you are right, All south. Right. Oh, Very okay. good, Sean. Okay, now I'm going to measure. Can I actually measure it? Because it looks like it's very small. Yeah, it's less than one centimeter. Less than one. Uh, you can put there 0 0.5? 0 0.5 centimeters. Uh -huh. 0 okay. 0.5 centimeters. All right. Okay, so you saw from morning 8 a.m. the sun was here mm -hmm. and then it moves up here to the northern part and then ah, oh. now it's... 
3.30 p.m. All right. Where is the sun now? Now the sun hmm. is at the uh, west? West, yes. Okay. W-E-S-T, west. Okay, and what about the shadow now? Where hmm. is it? Hmm, can you guess? Oh. That's right, it is now facing the east. Yes, you are right. I'm facing east. E-A-S-T. Okay, okay, now I am going to measure. Aha! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, it's uh, six. Six, six centimeters. centimeters. Yes, ah, six centimeters. Okay, six centimeters. Okay. And then mm -hmm. we move on uh, until late in the evening at around 6 p.m. Okay. Six in the evening. So, where is the sun now? The sun looks like, what did you say? Ha, huh, yes. Looks like it's still in the west. Yes, and it's about to set now. Oh. Okay, and what about the direction of the shadow? I believe it is still in, facing east. Yes. Okay, oh, let me just write that. Right. Apologies for my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, that makes you you. Okay, now I'm going to measure. It is about 9.5 cent. Oh, 10. Make it 10. 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. Ah, the, the length of the shadow. Ah. Okay, so there we have it. Ah, can we have now um, make a conclusion based on what we have there? Okay. Okay, so what can you say about the direction of the sun? Mm -hmm. It appears that the sun rises, uh, rises from, the, from east the east yeah. and sets to the west. the west. Okay, what about the direction of the shadow? The shadow, however, is somewhat the opposite. Yes, you are right. Okay, so the direction of the shadow is the opposite of the direction of sun. Ah, yeah. Alright. So how many points do I get from this? Ah, okay. How many stars do you want? I want uh, 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you four stars, Sean. Wow, four stars. <laughs> Thank four you so big much. Four stars. That's yeah. even more than that 20 small ones. <laughs> okay, Great. now the yeah. most important part is the length of the shadow. Okay. okay. Look at the numbers carefully. Okay. From 10 mm -hmm. to 6 to 0 0.5 and then to 6 to 10. What can you say about the trend? Is it increasing or decreasing or both? It How looks, would you say? It looks like uh, it decreases from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then it increases back when it hits towards 6 p.m. Yes, you are right. That is so observant of you. That is absolutely right. So the length of shadow decreases mm -hmm. and then increases from morning until evening. Yay. Ah, so those are the effects of ah, the effects of the rotation of the earth. Okay. So because the earth rotates, so we can see that the sun is sometimes you can see it on the east mm -hmm. and then north and then west and the shadow. Yes. Ah, the shadow of objects on earth yeah. also will change in terms of the direction of the shadow and also the length of the shadow. Yes, so you can see true. early in the morning, you'll have a longer shadow. Mm -hmm. ah, and also late in the evening too. Ah. Uh, towards the uh, towards afternoon, it will be very short. Your sh shadow will be very, very short. I see. And also oh. what I've noticed from what you have mentioned, Teacher Dina, mm -hmm. is that, for example, at 8 a.m. or before 8 a.m., we mm -hmm. get to see the sunrise. Yes. Okay? So, because of the rotation of the Earth, mm -hmm. uh, the place where the sun rises and sets mm -hmm. are two different places. Yes, exactly. So that would mean I would maybe if I if I'm in my room and I have a window, I may be able to see the sunrise. But because if I'm seeing the sunrise over here, that would mean the sun would set somewhere behind yes, me. Yes, exactly. If I do not have a window, uh -huh. I won't be able to see it. Ah. Yes, that is why. Mm. Ah, you're right. Okay. So, Sean, yes? um, I want you to repeat back what are the three effects of the Earth's rotation? Okay. Three effects of the, ro uh, uh, of the Earth's rotation. Number one, mm -hmm. the occurrence of day and night. Uh -huh. uh, number two, uh, what you can sun. see is the sun would somehow seem that it's rising from the east mm -hmm. and setting in the west. Okay. And third would be the length of shadow, uh -huh. uh, depending on where we're standing, obviously it will look like it's 
uh, pointing towards the west uh, from the start of the day. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and at the end of the day, it looks like it's pointing towards the east. Ah, or you can easily see, say that it is opposite the yes. direction of the right. sun. Yeah. yeah, you are absolutely right. So I'm going to give you extra three star yes. shots. Thank you. Thank you so much, teacher Nina. Okay. And for those of you who also watch at home, hopefully you got your answers correct as well. And uh, just to repeat again, uh, the occurrence of day and night, the sun seems to change its position as well as changes in the length and direction of shadow. And of course, for our friends uh, who is watching right now at home, I believe we have somewhat of a homework ah, for them. Yes, homework time. Okay, we have learned so much today about the rotation, revolution and also gravity. Why don't you try and make a poster of it? Ooh. Whatever you have understood, mm -hmm. you can make a, maybe slides if you, if you like to uh, use um, digital posters yep. or you can make a uh, normal posters mm -hmm. to show that you really understand what is rotation yeah how long does it take for the earth to rotate and what about ro revolution what is revolution and the most important part what we just learned just now is about the effects of earth's rotation on its exist yes mm -hmm. that's right so that's the homework that you have uh, well, just before ending the show, but of course we're not going to end just yet. We're going to continue right after this and we're going to test whether or not you understand or paid attention to our lesson for today. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back to you for Level 2 on Data TV KPM. TV KPM Did you know some parts of Earth experience 24 hours daytime midnight sun and 24 hours nighttime polar night because of the Earth revolution back for Level 2 on Daily TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also our wonderful teacher, Nina, in the classroom today. Now, just before break, we have learned so much in terms of the gravity, mm -hmm. in terms of rotation, as well as revolution. All right, so let's continue. Okay, for the last segment now, mm -hmm. what we are going to do is we are going to test Sean. Oh. Does Sean remember everything that we have learned since the mm. beginning of this show? I okay. Hope so. <laughs> Let's start with the first one. Okay. It's about the gravitational pull on Earth mm -hmm. or simply known as gravity. Okay. What is gravity, Sean? Mm. Remember you did the activity just yes. now? You played with the keychain that I gave you? Ah, okay. I think my friends at home can also answer this question. Mm -hmm. Where gravity is a force that pulls objects to the center of the Earth. Let yes, me write that down. Yes, correct. Okay, write it down. Uh, force. Okay. All right, everyone, please don't judge Sean <laughs> based on his handwriting. Oh, when was the last time you write on the board, Sean? Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> to okay. the center of the Earth. Okay, can you repeat again what so, you have written? Gravity is a force that pulls objects to the center of the Earth. Okay, towards the center of the Earth. You are right, Sean. Yay! Very good. Okay, so we have learned what is gravity. So what are the effects of gravity? There are two effects. If you remember, mm -hmm. we played with things, we put it on this globe and it doesn't fall down on the counter. So ah. what can we say? All right, so let me try and see what I can answer correctly. Mm -hmm. Hopefully my friends can answer as well. The two effects. Mm -hmm. The first would be objects or people would remain on Earth. Uh -huh, and remain. the second would so that they won't float in the uh, air or yes. fly off from uh, Okay, Earth. A remain on Earth or remain where? Remain on Earth. Remain on the ground. In their... In their current position. Yes, in their position. Very ah, good. Okay, okay so, so I'm just going to put it in point form, uh -huh. right? Objects remain. Objects ah. remain on current position. On its position, on their position. 
Okay. okay oh no, two. my handwriting is really <laughs> okay. It's okay. And All two right. is that so that they don't float in the air. Ah, yes. So I'll just put uh, I'll just put an X float. Uh -huh. Just because that you like is... to save time. <laughs> in that the... is a short form. But if you have to write it in your book, please okay, write so you in. Okay, so I'll probably write it properly. Okay. Ah. Oh no, I think I made it worse. But yes, this says don't float in the air. Ah yes, or you won't do not float, float in, the in the air. Okay, that's very good. Now we move on to Earth's rotation on its. Oh, I'm not not gonna say the word. Okay. Okay. So what is the imaginary line right there, Sean? This one over here. Ah yes. All right. So, so what I do think we call everyone that? would know this already when seeing me spinning <laughs> uh, or rotating on my axis. Uh huh. Well, oh, you see this? Yeah, there's an answer here. It? Yes, oh, okay. an axis. Is so it right? Yes. Yay. Very good. So what is the direction, direction. of the rotation? I, 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 I rotated this way, so from the west to the east. Uh-huh. Let's see if it's correct. Let's see. Yeah. You are right. And okay, what about the duration? duration? How long does it take to make one full rotation? So one full rotation will take one day or 24 hours. Yes, is Let's... it correct? Yay! You are right! I want to roll. Very good. Okay. okay. Next one is mm -hmm. the Earth's revolution around the sun. Okay. So what is the name of the path there, the lane where the Earth revolves around the sun? What do we call that this imaginary one? line? Oh, I think it's called an orbit. <laughs> Is it right? Yeah. yeah, you are absolutely right. So, the direction? Uh, direction, if How it's does moving it this way, would be anti clockwise. Yes, anti clockwise, the opposite of the clock direction. Okay. Yeah. And duration, how long does it take to make one revolution? One around revolution the sun? would be one year, or more specifically, 365 and a quarter. Days. Uh huh. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Okay. Woohoo! Yeah. You are absolutely right, mm -hmm. Sean. Yay! Yeah. Okay. And because of that, I think you want me to answer the final, which is effects of Earth's ah. rotation on its axis. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick one just okay. to save some time. Mm -hmm. Which is three. Uh -huh. The occurrence of day and night. Okay. Yes. Uh, the uh, well, the the sun looks like it's rises from the east and sets in the west uh -huh. and also the direction of the shadow seems to be the opposite of the rising and setting of the sun. Uh, what about the length of the shadow? The length of the shadow will increase and decrease from morning till evening. Mm -hmm. eh, sorry, again, the other again. way. Will decrease and then increase ah, from morning yes. till evening. Yes, you are absolutely right. Okay, yes. since Sean didn't write his answers, why don't you try and write your answers in your notebook, your science notebook and show it to your teacher and your teacher will give you five stars for that. Yeah. Do you like that? Do, do I get five stars for this? Yes. Oh, oh wait. Um, mm -hmm. Let us check um, our learning outcomes. Have you reached everything? Have you achieved everything? Okay. okay. You have described the gravitational pull on Earth. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have made the, the generalization that all objects on Earth remain in their position. Yeah. Okay, yes, you have stated that the Earth rotates on its axis and at the same time it revolves around the Sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, you did that. And also you have described just now uh, the three things that you need to remember about rotation and also revolution okay, in terms of direction and duration. You did that. And also last but not least, you have described the effects of rotation of the Earth on its axis. So, as a reward, you yes. will get full six stars. Six stars! Yay! Wow! Thank you so much, Teacher Nina. Sean. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh. Thank you so much, Teacher Nina, for all the, uh, the sharing of information and also your lesson today. But for those of you watching at home, how can they get um, extra exercise? Um, is there any platform that they can get that to oh, yes, further enhance course. their understanding? Uh, for you to get all the notes and also exercises, you can go to Sumberku. All right. Uh -huh. So there you have it. Thank you once again, Teacher Nina, for all lesson for today. Day. And thank you for watching our lesson, which is on level two on DTV KPM. And we'll see you in our next lesson right here on DTV KPM. Till then, stay safe. Bye. Bye. Shut, shut, shut. Oh, let's go. Oh.
TV KPM